So we have a question here. Is everyone being, in, this was on Carved Up Vegan uh, channel, you haven't seen Carved Up Vegan, it's Craig in Chiang Mai was fucking obese as fuck last year and now he's riding bikes up mountains. Just got a vasectomy. Crazy transformation. Check. I'll put his link, I'll put a link to his channel down below. Anyway, this comment was on his crazy channel. Is everyone being indoctrinated by doing right to get a vasectomy? Not criticizing you, man. Just hope you did this because you wanted to and not because other big vegan YouTubers make you feel like you should. And vegan minimalist wrote down, um, you make it seem like it's some sort of trend to get options your balls. I'm sure Craig's for that for a while. I didn't know. I knew I didn't want kids before I found out about doing right, and since he makes videos about vasectomies, it helped me a lot because no one I know in person openly talks about vasectomy or child free lifestyle. If anything, I'm pressured into wanting having kids by my parents and grandparents. Internet's a great place. Vegan Minimus made a great point, didn't he? It's like, some people pretend I'm the only motherfucker on the planet that's had a vasectomy. You know what I mean? Like, some fucking cunts, are so, they think like, oh, you just like Shimano cranks, because Dune Rider likes Shimano cranks, and he's got them as well, and like, so you copied him. It's like, no, 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 no. There's plenty of other motherfuckers out there who ride Shimano product, or SRAM, or use iPhones, you know? Or fucking anything, man. If let's, let's, Someone would be copying me if I had half my, red sha half my hair shaved, and it was dyed pink, and the other half fucking checkers with purple dots and shit. And if someone copied that exactly, then you just copy, and that's fine. That's cool. But, so just because someone got a vasectomy doesn't mean they're cooking you, full of me, or whatever. Even if that's not even a bad thing. But dumb motherfuckers, what they do, right? Instead of, like, engaging on serious debate and talking about vasectomies, they just say, oh, you copied Dune or whatever. Like, let's, let's discuss the actual concept of getting a motherfucking vasectomy versus use this whole, you just fell in with it, as a distraction to justify your motherfucking complacency. Because you don't want to question what's going on. You just go, you just want to change the subject. You know what I mean? You want to change the subject, change the focus, make it sort of personal, whatever, versus talking about the orphans, talking about a child-free lifestyle, double income, no kids, less stress, less responsibility, less fucking footprint on the planet. You don't want to talk about that. You want to talk about, like, it's not really natural. Like, it, it, that's a classic example, that, which is good that these people say these comments because it means what we're talking about. They don't like that. But it's planted a seed in their head. They're thinking, fuck. These cunts are getting vasectomies. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should put the pressure on myself as a man to man the fuck up and go, look, to your girlfriend or your missus or whatever, you're on the contraceptive pill, you're on that marina IUD toxic as fuck copper thing, hormones, exogenous sex steroids long term. I mean, guys like Kino Body, Tim W, when they get on the gas, at least they cycle off and give their bodies a break. When you're on the pill, or the fucking implant, implant on rod, or the fucking Rena IUD, or just a normal topper, copper, toxic IUD. You don't get a break. You're on that for motherfucking years. At least the fake natives on YouTube get to cycle off and have a break. Let their bodies sort of heal a bit. These girls just get pumped full of exogenous hormones long term. And no one gives a fuck about it. And if you get a sex oh, you sure you want to do that? But if you're a 15 year old teenage girl and you want to get a Marina IUD up your clacker, that's alright. Don't question it. Don't talk about it. Just personal stuff, don't talk about it. If you want to get on ex exogenous sex steroids as a 15 year old girl, no worries, get on it, mate. Pop the pill, go be on the docks, get on it now. It's crazy what how hypocritical society is. But if you want to get a vasectomy, sh sh people lose their shit. Oh my god, you might regret it. You might have fucking kids and regret that. There's a good chance you can reverse a vasectomy. Not 100%, but there's a good chance. But there's motherfucking 100%, no motherfucking chance of reversing having kids. Once you pop out a kid, you got that motherfucker for life. Alright? Oh, my, my kid might die. You, you know what I'm saying, dickhead? You can't, like, what if you change your mind? What if you get a vasectomy and change your mind? What if you motherfucking have kids and change your fucking mind? It's a bit motherfucking late, isn't it? If you get a vasectomy and change your mind, you might go, oh, I want to get in debt, I want to have more stress, I want to add more kids to the planet. Oh, Doc, can I book a reversal? Yeah, well, give it a go, mate, give it a go. But if you have kids, mate, if you have kids, there's no, like, Oh, I'm gonna backtrack here. No, 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 no. You got that motherfuckers for life. You can walk out on the mother or whatever, the father or whatever. But you're gonna be paying child support. You got that all the rest of your life, man. And that is a responsibility most people don't understand. And I've got plenty of parents out there that go, yeah, I understand that and that's cool with it. But a lot of people have kids because their parents said have kids, you know? Or they're like, oh, I don't wanna get an abortion, so I've got a kid. And that's just like, if you wanna have an abortion, have a motherfucking abortion, nothing wrong with that. People say, oh, it's hypocritical if you're vegan and you're having a... No, it's fucking nuts. All right, I mean... <laughs> oh, my God. That's a whole other video, but 
post comments about that one, we'll get another video on that one. Let's focus on the vasectomy thing. If you get a vasectomy, you follow Endurin Rider. That's the biggest load of crap. I give good advice, and a lot of guys out there watch my videos and appreciate my advice. That's all they're taking, mate, is some advice. They're thinking, hang on, this Duran Rider cunt, he really lives a pretty carefree existence. That looks appealing. My parents are fucking stressed as fuck, they're in debt, and they just really don't enjoy life. Who am I going to listen to? Duran Rider? Mr. Carefree? Living it? I can jump on my bike, I can jump on a plane, I can do anything the fuck I want any time of day, anywhere in the world, whatever I want to do, I can do it. All right, and they're looking at me and they think this is pretty cool. And they're looking at their parents, and their parents are stressed out. They get four weeks a year holiday, and and that's not the last. And that's, that might be that might be a fine. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. That might be fine lifestyle for the parents. They enjoy that. They've grown up with that. That's all they know. But the young generation are thinking, doing rider, carefree, car free, child free, debt free. My parents in debt, lots of stress, relationships shit. Who am I going to take advice from? You know, I'm not saying I'm better. I'm just saying this is my lifestyle and it appeals to a lot of young men out there and older men. So before you're a parent and you criticize your kids or before you're a brother and you criticize your brother for getting a sex me or whatever, just think. Just because you enjoy your life, it doesn't mean other people will enjoy that. Just same with me. Just because I like riding bikes up mountains doesn't mean every motherfucker is going to enjoy it. Some people would rather shoot themselves in the head than ride a bike up a mountain, you know? Literally. Some people are just like, I would never ride my bike up a mountain. I never want to be fit. I never want to see the lookout under my own sweat. I'd rather catch a tour bus up there. And that's fine. I mean, it's not fine for the environment. It's not fine for your health. But that's fine because that's what you want to do. So I understand that not everyone wants to live the old school lifestyle where you, you go to university, you get in debt, you work a job you hate to pay off the debt to study something that your parents wanted you to study and it sounded cool and you might get some extra status quo social currency but you're doing it anyway and then you've got four weeks of your holiday and your colleagues are shit but you have to sort of put up with them because you don't want to have that conflict every day at work but that, you're locked in there and then you've got to get a house because you can't rent because if you're renting you're over 30 you're a loser you know so you can't you know, so there's that, that trap we get motherfucking trapped into that and what Dune Rod is offering is like a cutting the puppeteer strings and do what the fuck you want to do. And when you don't have kids or you have less kids, you have less stress financially, you have more time to sleep, you have more time to think. Right now, Freely's out riding a bike. Figsy's over there getting some sun. And I can do whatever the fuck I want to do on this computer, work hard. You know what I mean? So that's my tip. If I had a kid, I couldn't be doing this, man. I couldn't be doing this. I mean, I could still do stuff, but not as effective as what I'm doing. So I've got plenty of friends out there with uh, kids. And that's cool. But I'm trying to appeal to people who've already maybe got enough kids and think, fuck, I don't want any more going to get a vasectomy. Because it doesn't really get talked about, does it? It doesn't get talked about very openly. It's like, oh, don't talk about that. You know, like, we should talk about this. And there's plenty of guys who want to get a vasectomy but they don't know where to go. So they read Dune Rider shit and think it seems pretty, pretty, pretty easy operation. It's a fucking easy operation. It's easy as fuck. It's cheap. It's a bit expensive. I'm going to tell you what. You know, <laughs> I'll tell you what's motherfucking expensive. Having fucking kids because you got to fork out the money. Plus, my, some of my friends who are quite well off financially, they say, Harley, it's not just the money you spend on your kids, it's the time that you could be working or recovering that now you have to allocate to child raising, raising children. And I'm like, oh shit, it's like the double whammy, it's like the double sucker punch. You got to spend the money and the time. It's like, so it's probably going to cost you half a million dollars or more of lost income and get money handed out to raise a child in today's world. And if you want to do that, that's awesome. But please consider adopting in 2016. If you already got the kids, you can't take them back. I'm trying to appeal to the people who don't have kids yet when well, they want some more. If you get a vasectomy or motherfucking adopt, stop being so motherfucking selfish and egotistical. I want children. Do you want children or do you want your child? I want a part of me that looks like me so I can take a photo. That's fucking pretty shit when there's over 30,000 kids dying every day. Oh, we, we need to raise vegan children. Okay, we do. I agree with you. But motherfucking adopt one or be a motherfucking foster parent or be a community service provider. You don't have to have your own, motherfuckers. Come on, think. Think before you fuck. Snip before you fuck. And don't give a fuck what your parents or your anyone else, your grandparents or your neighbours or your teachers or whatever say. Their reality... 
isn't probably what you want and that's why you don't really listen to them and you listen to cunts like me because of the participation in my day reality is something that you would like to have so you're gonna you're gonna seek my advice or follow my advice or copy my advice or just intuitively think that's just a logical motherfucking decision call it whatever you want logic is motherfucking logic whoever's saying it it's just logical it's 2016 Everyone has enough stress, I feel, as an adult. Uh -huh. Everyone's got enough stress. Everyone's got enough financial fucking stress. Time-wise, sleep, food. The world's fucked, man. The world is not getting better. If you're a fucking blind cunt, not blind blind, but you're no, not literally speaking blind, but if you're mentally closed that you can't see how fucked the world is, you motherfucker need to travel with me more and I'll take you to China. I'll take you to India. I'll take you to the middle of Australia. I'll take you to a certain place in the USA. If you think the world is like getting better, you are one deluded fuck. And if you think bringing kids into this world beyond what you've already got now is good and you think you bring them into a good bright future, you are even more deluded. And you don't have to agree with me, but you're still going to be wrong.